Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're going to be doing, uh, I guess it's going to be a smaller, shorter video of some cards that we're probably never going to run, but we're going to talk about them anyway. <laughs> it is the Inherited Curiosity Bra and A Promise of Marriage Chi Chi. Now these are the two new, I guess we're calling them the waifu cards that are out, Valentine's cards, whatever you want to call them. They're the, the other peppy gals category uh, units that have just become available. Now, um, they're not horrible. Uh, I mean, the Peppy Girls category can be better, obviously, uh, but there's no, like, Dokken exclusives. There's nothing that does immense damage or nothing crazy that does immense damage. Um, but they're, they're, it's a fun category to run, um, especially when you I mean you're going to need them on the Master Roshi event anyway. So, I mean, if you happen to pull them, they're definitely going to benefit for your team, especially when they start getting Dokken Awakenings, because then that 120 is going to increase the drop rate of those turtle shells, which, trust me, you I use, if you're going to use them for grinding um, super attack levels, of other units getting those shells makes it a lot easier for you to do that and a lot less time consuming um so let's go ahead and jump into it before they do make sure you hit that subscribe button to help support the channel i really would appreciate it all right so let's jump into it. inherited curiosity bra leader skill is technique and agility type key plus three hp attack and defense plus 50 percent uh not a bad leader if you're going up against the old school events and if you're a brand new player that will definitely help you out with those it'll help you out with the 70 percent leads probably not going to help you out against any of the 120s um, definitely not gonna help you against any of the 120s unless you have some really OP units, but usually if you have OP units, they're better leaders anyway. Super attack is Dad's Gallic Gun. I kind of like how they did that, Dad's Gallic Gun, so she's using Vegeta's Gallic Gun. Greatly raises attack and causes supreme damage to the enemy. Passive skill, Youth and Curiosity. All allies key plus 2, attack plus 30%. Chance to evade enemies' attack, including super attack, by 20% per Peppy Gals category ally on your team. Up to 50%. So that pretty much just means run at least two other units. If you have two other units on the team that are Peppy Gals, she's going to have that 50% dodge rate. That's actually pretty good because that means she's going to be dodging half the time. Um, I think Khalifa is 70% of the time. Maybe it's 50%. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, but I know that this 50% dodge rate is definitely going to make her very, a lot more viable, especially if there's any future events that are going to require Peppy Gals team. Um, not to mention that she's just a really good uh, pe uh, support unit. Like, uh, all allies keep plus two attack plus 30% unbridled is just awesome. So not only is she going to be good for Peppy Gal's team, she's really going to be good support for almost any team you want to throw her on. Uh, most likely better off having her on a Heroes team or a Monotech team, obviously. But uh, outside of that, uh, she's a pretty damn decent unit because of those links. Link skills are Battlefield, Diva, The Innocence, Royal Lineage, Money, 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 The Saiyan Lineage, and GT. Now, in terms of her actual link skills, before I said links, I meant passive. Uh, her link skills, I mean, GT definitely is going to be decent because there's some really good GT units there. Um, obviously, she's going to be a support unit, so you want her to link well as well. Uh, but honestly, let's see, the Innocence, GT, and may possibly the Royal Lineage and Saiyan Lineage. Those two might come in handy, but honestly, uh, the, the two best ones she has is GT and the Innocence. So unless she gets something else during a Doken Awakening, and she's probably going to get Shattering the Limit, uh, her link skills are kind of lacking. But if you're running uh, anyone on GT, if you're running her for a GT uh, on a GT team, like or someone who has GT on a mono tech team, like that new Super Saiyan for a Goku, she'll at least be able to hit that off. Um, her category is Hybrid Saiyans and Peppy Gals, so obviously Peppy Gals and Hybrid Saiyans is pretty cool. Um, max stats are HP of 80, 80, uh, 60, 83, attack of 70, 91, defense of 35, 95. Uh, not only do I not recommend feeding any dupe system into her, I don't recommend increasing her super attack. Only because she is a support unit. I mean, you can if you actually like Bra or Bulla, however you want to pronounce her name. Uh, but, I mean, she doesn't really have enough airtime on the anime for, for anyone to really say that they think she's a great character. She has a couple scenes. Um, and, I mean, maybe, I don't know if she has better scenes in other video games and stuff, but I highly doubt it. Uh, but, yeah, definitely don't def do not do it. It's a waste of your orbs. I mean, you can do it if you want to, obviously, but I don't recommend it. 12 key mul multiplier is 130%. Greatly raises attack is a 50% boost. So she's going to do some some damage. I would probably estimate her damage being about 120,000 on a 120 team, uh, most likely. Um, overall, again, she's decent for support. Really, actually, she's just really good for support. The attack plus 30% is pretty good. Uh, the key buff. And uh, if you're running on a Peppy Gals team, she's really good because she's not going to get hit as all. Uh, and you definitely want to prevent that. Anyway, in terms of best linking buddies in game, uh, you have the pan over here. The two pans over here, actually. Uh, you have the strength pan, the honey bee pan from the event, the free-to-play one. The other support unit pan, so, uh, you know what I want to do? I want to run a team of nothing but support units. I've been debating that. Because you have all three support units on one team, and they're all giving, like, 25 to 30% buff. I wonder how much damage they're actually going to do on, a, like, a 120 team or something like that. I'm going to have to check it out with my villains team and run a rose and something and see what happens. 
Um, anyway, we also have the Pandel, oh, not the Pandel, um, the Bullpan, which is uh, the Fusion's character. Obviously links very well together. With, their, with them being together, that's going to be, what, five key total? Um, you have Vegeta over here, the GT Vegeta, which obviously that is a link there. Let me translate this to English, I forgot to do that. And you have Pandel, which is GT Female Fighter and Saiyan Blood. So obviously the, the, the females are all going to share Female Fighter, which is two key. Um, these guys are also going to share GT, obviously, because that's going to be, um, they're all from the GT saga. Um, so there you go, so that, there's that. The Pan um, shares the Innocence and Saiyan Blood. Uh, the Innocence and Saiyan Blood for Pandel. And for, not Pandel, uh, for Bullpan. And the other pen is the same thing, the Innocence and the Saiyan Blood. Um, and for Pandel, Saiyan Blood, Female Fighter GT. So not bad, it's all, nothing really but key links over here. Um, you got the Innocence. The Innocence is the only thing that you're going to get a 10% attack buff on. And that's going to be with the Bullpan and the two actual regular pen. Regular pen. Um, so overall, not horrible, but uh, I guess it could be better. Uh, but, I mean, again, there's not that many attack buffs that you could really hope for there anyway. But... If you're looking for best uh, linking buddies, the other funny thing is they're both on this Hybrid Saiyans team, um, and they're both on the Peppy Gals team, so because these guys are all um, Hybrid Saiyans, I'm not going to really do a Hybrid Saiyan link here, just because you already know which ones are Hybrid Saiyans, because there's everyone in the game. Uh, so there you go. Uh, the next one for Mono Tech team, uh, we already talked about the Vegeta, so you have the Vegeta and his SSR variant, and we also have the free-to-play Trunks. Um, this guy who is an SSR who can be Z-Awakened to a TUR, um, or an Ultra Rare. <coughs> Uh, you have the Innocence, uh, Money, 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 and King's Bloodline, so you get 2 key and 10%. Again, free to play, so you can link them two together if you need. Uh, I think he also has that built-in crit, which is pretty damn awesome. Yeah, attack with 50%, uh, medium chance of triggering, uh, I guess, oh, a super attack or something like that. Well, we'll look into that later. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's that. So three for each of those two for a mono tech team. Not really anyone else that she links very well with. I mean, if you want to throw it down to two... Um, you could definitely find other people. Like I said, this Goku up over here is probably going to be someone that will link very well. That will at least share some links with her. You have the same blooded GT, which is awesome. Um, that way he's going to be getting, was that 4 5 total because of her 2 key on her passive and another 30% th uh, attack buff. Uh, obviously, you're going to want to link him with someone better than that, but you can link, you could at least have her off rotation, put him in the middle, and he'll have a higher chance or, or almost a guaranteed chance to get a, um, a super attack off. Uh, in terms of Peppy Gal specifically, uh, we already talked about uh, Bullpen, we talked about Pandel, uh, Rebran, two uh, Link skills over here, and uh, honestly, we're in the two Link skill category or realm, it doesn't really make much, too much of a difference, they share the Innocence and uh, it looks like the Female Warriors most likely, yep, uh, and the two Android 18s, Android 18s are probably going to be the Innocence and Female Fighter, 10%, yep, and this one is, no, this one is uh, Money, Money, Money and Female Fighter, oh, that's because this one's from the Broly movie, that makes sense, so that's who she links very well with. Um, uh, again, not that not that great, but again, she's a support unit, so it doesn't really matter who that she doesn't link that well with anyone. You're gonna really be using her um, off primary rotation. Uh, it would just be more beneficial for her to hit off other link skill. Now we're moving over to the Chi Chi, a promise of marriage. Chi Chi, she is a strength unit. Her leader ability is physical and strength type key plus three, HP attack and defense plus percent. Super attack is a Bansho fan. Causes supreme damage to the enemy and seals super attacks. Uh, that, that's actually really awesome. I'm glad that she seals super attacks. It kind of makes her a little bit more viable. Um, and people will have would probably want to run her on teams. Um, I, I, the thing is, she still doesn't have uh, really good link skills. But that would help pe make want people want to run her on it. Uh, anyway, so she does seal super attacks. Her passive skill, healthy mind and body. Attack plus 80% of the start of the turn. So 80% is, is cool, but only with supreme damage. I mean... She will be doing a lot more damage because of that 80% attack buff, and Supreme Damage isn't horrible. Um, going down, though, her 12 key multiplies only 130%. If they bump that up to, like, 140%, which I didn't expect them to do for a unit like this, uh, it would have made her a lot more viable. Link skills are Courage, The Innocence, Battlefield Diva, Infighter, uh, The Incredible Adventure, and Guidance of the Dragon Balls. Now, having The Incredible Adventure and Guidance of the Dragon Balls definitely helps her out, helps her case about running her on a team being more viable. Guidance of the Dragon Balls is a really fun, uh, well, the, the units you have that make it a lot of fun because it's everyone from the Dragon Ball Saga, and that also usually goes, the Incredible Adventure goes along with that pretty much hand in hand. So if you have anyone who has Guidance of the Dragon Balls, chances are you're going to have two key there as well. Um, oh, she also has the passive Peppy Gals category, allies key plus two, attack, and hundred yeah defense plus 100%. So she's making your Peppy Gals girls, making them tank very, very well. That's just awesome. Um, but yeah, in terms of all this, I mean, she's overall a, a really damn solid unit. 
Um, she's also on the World Tournament team, so she not only goes after Master Roshi for that category, she also goes after the uh, LR Hercule, or goes after Hercule for the drops for uh, his World Tournament. Now, the, the thing with that is the World Tournament team is only used for that specific event, so, um, I mean, because to, uh, in the sake of the video, to not make it too long, we're not going to talk about a World Tournament linking team. Um, but you can throw her on there. Definitely don't do it if you have TURs, like level 120 units, because obviously the higher the level, the increased drop rate. So, like, if you have LR Mighty Mask and LR Hercule, have them on your team, and then do any of your uh, TUR 120s. And then, if you happen to still need more units, go to your SSRs that have been Z Awakened. So, she will do good on that. Um, anyway, uh, categories, Peppy Gals World Tournament, uh, stats are going to be HP of 6758, attack of 6632, and defense of 3831. Um, yeah, again, 12 key multiplier, 130%. Now, I don't really think it's worth investing orbs into her, but uh, again, I also haven't seen her gameplay, but she does seal. Uh, once she seals, it does attack plus 80%, and on Peppy Gals team, it gives herself 2 key and defense plus 100%. Um, or Peppy Girl's allies. That also means, by the way, inherently, regardless of the other Peppy Girls on the team, she's giving herself, her own self, an additional 100% de uh, defense buff. So keep that in mind as well. So she's not only giving, like, 80% to attack, she's giving herself 80% attack, herself 2 key, and herself 100% defense buff. Like, she's not bad, okay? Like, for all the units, all the Peppy Girls units, um, she's probably, in terms of damage output, probably one of my favorite ones at this point in the game. Only because she could tank, she gives herself key, she's self-sufficient, and she gives herself a huge, nice attack buff for where she is in the game in the meta. Uh, anyway, in terms of best linking buddies in-game, the two young Gokus over here, the one from Penguin Village, from the Arale event, let's go ahead and translate to English, um, let's see what they link, the Innocence, Mysterious Adventure, or the Big Adventure, and Guidance of the Dragon Ball, so like I said before, those two are kind of synonymous, 20%, 10% for the Innocence, that's a 30% attack buff, those two linking together, and two key. Uh, the other Goku over here, which is probably going to be the same ones. Yeah, it's the same exact ones, 30% 2 key. Then you have the Waifu Balma, which is 4 key and 20% attack buff, plus her own 2 key. She's always going to go off super attacks. And the monster, or no, this isn't really technically a monster carrot event, but uh, this is the Dragon Ball Saga version, and she's also getting 4 key and 20% attack buff. Overall, pretty good. Um, again, Chi Chi seems like a better unit for the category. So if, if you pull her, you know... It's good. Again, I don't recommend summoning for her specifically, but when you do pull her uh, off of the off chance that you grab her, she's not a bad unit. Uh, in terms of mono strength, again, it's going to be this Goku. We already talked about him. And we have the free-to-play Videl for three link skills, which is probably going to be, let's see, it's going to be um, uh, female fighter. Yeah, uh, in fighter, which is actually cool, and courage. So you're getting, what, two, three key, so three key and 10% attack buff, and the enemy's defense goes down by 10%. Which I never found that really that useful, but it does happen. Um, or does it is there um we can drop it down to two there's just way too many i just didn't want to do two i guess we could take out the ssrs and see what happens when we do that we have arale we have uh evil king piccolo or young king piccolo transformation like giant ape one um we have the str old school goku for two link skills and the pan uh overall obviously two link skills so they're either gonna be sharing the mysterious adventure dragon ball god or goddess of the dragon balls uh, the Innocent Female Fighter, this is probably the two, yeah, uh, Goddess of the Dragon Balls and Mysterious Adventure, the Grand, Grand Adventure. And for Pan, it's the Innocence and Female Fighter. Uh, not that bad, really, I mean, for for Mono Strength, not so much. But if you're trying to run an old school team, you do have the units to run together, so that's not that bad, it's pretty fun. Um, for Peppy Gal's team, our best two are going to be the two Balmas we already talked about. Uh, Bull Pan over here for two Link skills is going to be... Looks like the Innocence and Female Fighter. Like, yeah, the Innocence Female Fighter, Pandel. Probably going to be the same thing. Honestly, these two are, yeah, um, Infighter and Female Fighter. So this is not, yeah, so Infighter 10% attack buff and defense of the enemy minus 20% down. Android 18 is Innocence and Female Fighter. And last but not least, Rebrand is 10% and Female Fighter. So Innocence and Female Fighter. Uh, overall, again, Chi Chi's not bad. She's not a fantastic unit, but she has some linking buddies that can help her out for sure. Um, and I mean, because of the fact that, like, this is, a, like, the Pandel over here is a support unit, and they're getting in fighter and female fighter, um, you could throw someone else in there who has, let's see, the Innocence, right? That's what we want. Uh, so you have the Innocence over here with, uh, see, we're not gonna want to run Bullpen because she's a support. Uh, there we go, that's the Innocence. So Android 18. So if you have Android 18 over here, and you have Pandel over here for support, you're hitting off, what, two key, 10% attack buff, an additional 10% attack buff, that's awesome. Or if you have a Bulma over here, that's a 20% attack buff. 
Unfortunately, there's no one here that has the Innocence and, like, the, the Guidance of the Dragon Balls. Uh, that would have been a lot nicer because then you can get a lot more accomplished with damage output. But overall, again, not that bad of a unit. Uh, I think she's probably one of my favorite ones outside of the Videl. And it kind of makes sense because, you know, um, the Videl has a lot of buffing qualities to her. Uh, which makes her very awesome. So if you get Videl and you and if you happen to put the system into her, definitely give her doubles. Double uh, additional attacks are going to be the saving grace of that card. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Again, please make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new. And I'll catch you down in the comments below. Peace.